things are heating up. Hi, dolls. Welcome back. And if you're new, hello, my name is Jessie. And today we're going to react to Season 5, Episode 8 of Cobra Kai, Tai Kai. A coveted spot in an elite international tournament ignites a fight between dojos. There's one spot. That's great. Of course there is. Tori's loyalties are tested. Ooh, Sam struggles to let Miguel go. Tori's loyalties are tested by who? I'm assuming Silver. We know she's loyal to Kreese. I'm excited to see this. Let's just jump in. This is season five, episode eight of Cobra Kai, Tai Kai. <laughs> Very impressive. But there are many impressive dojos. The Sakai Taikai, a household name all across America. It's a huge market. I don't One think they want it to, to be. Our dojo is the best in the valley. That's not true. Oh! Sensei Daniel LaRusso, two time All Valley champion. Yeah, he is. Sensei Johnny Lawrence, also two time champion. Yeah, he is. Tozen Toguchi, Master Sensei. Amanda LaRusso, karate adjacent. We have champions from the past two all valleys. You led us to believe that your dojo had all the titles. Kono dojemo, Chikaro, Isitaitis. Simply put. We will see what your dojo has to offer. And yours. All right, they screwed it up for him. Perfect. If either dojo is worthy of the Sekai Taikai. The best dojo win? We will. And when we do, I'm going to shove that ponytail straight up your ass. <laughs> you can translate that. What now, Terry? I will continue to train your students so they are fully prepared. Might I suggest next time, you are prepared too. Get me one of those branded partnerships. You can put yourself through college with one of those. I never even thought about college before. As long as we do everything we can to make sure Cobra Kai wins. I need you there for a little longer. A little longer. Kids all over the world are gonna have to deal with the same kind of crap that you guys have gone through. But if we win... Is this what fatherly advice sounds like? <laughs> Robbie, come on, just talk. Relax, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Our Aww, students love I love it. Movements. I love it. Here's mm -hmm. Cobra Kai. We don't believe in baby steps. <laughs> Going back 400 years. Shrimpo sensei. Strong wind. Strong sun. Okay, the point of the story <laughs> is they don't have any respect for the art like the other Very dojo good. does. <laughs> run up a mountain in the snow and yell Drago! <laughs> you get it i do you get it you get it so we will one break Sorry. having reviewed both those like, it's so it's cold and creepy the there the other. see fight. how your students fare two fighters one male one female each will fight tomorrow afternoon in separate three-point matches so make Robbie and switch. Kenny Sam and Tori you're going to have a rematch against LaRusso you ready? The fate of this dojo rests in your fists. Robbie knows how to fight him because he taught him. There's and he's been in Cobra Kai. And he's been in Eagle Fang. And he's been in Miyakito so now. In the end, I'm always the one picking up the pieces. My boyfriend broke up with me. Trading with these nut jobs. Okay. The honey's love him, man. I can eat. <laughs> what the hell? Andrew has more sauces than this pizza. Hawk didn't have to fight in the semis this year because Diaz booked it to Mexico. Oops. Point being, you're all deserving. There's only one choice. Should be Hawk. He beat me fair and square. All right. Wow. All right. We'll try I'm not saying that I don't think he should go. Robbie, easy. Because he knows Kenny's fighting. I was fighting against. Your father was fighting for, for Miyagi-san. Biggest difference between Cobra Kai and everybody else. Right, Dobby? Yeah. <gasps> I knew it. I knew when he, the second he dropped it, I was like, he's gonna, she's gonna find that necklace. Space has been good for them. I don't think I'll be able to sleep tonight, Sensei. If you strike the right speed and trajectory, right between the ribs. The solar plex. Have you ever done that when you were little? Yes! Why go for extra damage? Because the shortest distance to victory in a fight will take out your opponent with one shot. I'm looking at it like obviously to hurt them. I would never do that though. Kenny is so pure and innocent, literally being taught how to be evil. He's like, why should I do that? He's like fair. preying on this freaking sweet child. You're pissing me off this season. <laughs> Heard you're the one doing the bullying now. Oh, he deserves everything that comes to him. I don't think you actually believe that. You're lucky you're not on the mat today. 
Guess Hawk will have to do. That kid needs to get the Don't kicked worry. out of him. It's not Kenny talking. Yeah. Sorry. Eli Moskowitz. Kenny Payne. Yeah. Please take Moskowitz. the map. Fight! Yes. Out of bounds. No point. What? Paying off the judges again. Here we go. Oh my god. Ah. 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 Strike. Knew Boy, it. He's gonna do. Back. Yeah, he's That's gonna fine. do he's something. I dirty. I fuck yeah. knew it. Can you continue? It's not like he cracked one of his freaking ribs. Can you breathe? Okay. Have you ever done that when you're little? I used to do that, where you like trip and fall and you literally get the wind knocked out of you. It is terrifying. The people judging them in the competition. Ooh. She was just here. No one there is as good as Sam. And have Devin fight. Devin's a good fighter, but not as good as Sam. Are you too afraid? She's like, yeah, I'm terrified. No point. That shoulder. No point. At least make it look like it's real. Point one zero. Lee. Exactly. Like last time. Everyone knows it. The ref might not be doing you any favors, but you got us in your corner. You must not leave room yeah. for error. He's right. You make every point undeniable. Come on, Cortez. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Point Larusso. One one. He's like, I guess I have to say that one. Nice. So it's even still though. Now it's one one. Yatta. <laughs> Devin, get the hell out of there. So they I suck. Your leader failed you and your teammates by disappearing. Cobra Kai. Yeah! Unique addition to the competition. Also qualified. I thought there was only one spot. <laughs> they were that good. They made another spot. Oh my god, what are they gonna be? We are Miyagi Do. We are Eagle Fang. Chosen, we get in there. What do you think? Two opposing philosophies. Yeah, he gets it. I do. Nevertheless, we still need one. We need a name. <laughs> Every one of you brought your agent. This is so bad for, for Hawk. Now I told your mom I'd take her and Rose out to dinner in a late night movie, so you guys are on your own if you want to host that celebration. What happened to the thing? Uh, didn't really work for me, so still, uh, Figuring it out. Came to party with us because we got into the Sekai Tekai. I have no idea what you just said. Penis breath. Grab the girl a cup. Mm. Oh no. But Sam, you can't get mad at this. We go. Oh shit. Made your party for house, eh? So, what are you doing here? I'm not here to fight. I didn't lose the All Valley. Oh my God! This timing! <laughs> oh my God! All right, so there you have it. Episode eight: the Taikai, or ta just Taikai. We meet the Saikai, Saikai, Taikai. They are scouting Cobra Kai, and we have to be determined coming in and breaking up that little uh, that little interview, if you will. This is great. I love it. It's so Johnny to bust in on something like that, but it's so Daniel to actually prove a point and get through to them and allow them to actually be seen. I am very confused as to why nobody on the Tai Kai didn't say anything certain things that I dwell on it's like there's really no point in dwelling on it but like why didn't they have their own judge to ju judge the fight but maybe that guy is their judge and, and Silver just paid him off even so this is supposed to be the most prestigious important karate competition in the whole entire world you can see that this guy's making calls you're allowing it to happen I just find that really interesting but I guess that's also probably why they let both of them in Cobra Kai they're good fighters and if you don't know their history and if you haven't seen them fight before you don't see the things that they do as shady and sketchy that's the problem like the the hit that he made to Hawk sure it might be legal a kind of you could hit someone like that and not realize and it was like an accident it is what it is but if you're intentionally doing that you're trying to injure the person it's 
up. Like he intentionally hit him illegally in the leg to injure him in order to weaken him so he could do that shot so he could he couldn't block it. And so I just think if you don't know again their history of them doing things like this and seeing them fight, you think, okay, well he just got a bad hit in and he got penalized for it. I mean, whatever. At the end of the day, they both got in. They both got in, so that's where we're going, because I'm like, there's two episodes left. What else are we going to do? That's uh, apparently where we're going with this, unless it's going to be them training for it, and then the next season is going to be them going to the competition. But regardless, they're both in, and they need a name. We have Miyagi-Do, we have Eagle Fang, and we have Chosen chilling in the background. Tori leaving. Tori freaking left. Thank you, Tori. Tori is quickly becoming a favorite of mine. I love it. She has not so great of a conversation with Crease, and I understand why she's upset because he was forcing her to stay in a place where she didn't want to be. It cost her her boyfriend. It cost her her sanity. And then at the end of it all, he's like, you know, never mind. <laughs> Just stop. He had to have known that that conversation wasn't going to go as well as he thought it was going to go. She expressed that she didn't want to be there. And like at first I was like, oh, that's sweet. But I feel like after Tori gave that that response, he should have been like, OK, let's think of what else we can do. But he was still just like, nah, it's all right, whatever. So I, I think, again, she's feeling abandonment. And, and I feel really terrible because Crease is like the one person, the one person who she felt felt like she could trust. Small part of me feels like maybe he did that on purpose so she would go to Sam and them for help like he didn't want to be the one to tell her to do it so he's like how can I get her to do this maybe I'm hoping I don't know but uh at the end of it all as crazy as it is we have Devin taking her place and again I like Devin I think Devin's a good fighter and all but Devin does not compare to Tori and Sam so it's it's kind of annoying that they're just like oh we just we just need a strong female so let's throw Devin in there like I feel like they I wish they developed Devin's skills and her and her abilities a little bit more but at the same time, that was one of the things that was so great about Devin is when she tried out for Eagle Fang, they were like, holy shit, she's pretty good. Like, she's already, like, got down decent format and stuff. So I, I guess she's a quick learner. We'll give her that. But I really wish that she would go over to the other side, obviously. I'm still a little confused as to why I really feel like I missed something. Like, all throughout the, the – I, I watched the finale before I started watching – um this new season the on the Thursday before and all throughout the finale her and and penis breath are you know chattering back and forth during the whole all valley she's the one that's like a countdown clock really a little dramatic and he's like yeah it's the all valley like I don't understand why they're just like ah eh, whatever Devin went over there they're not saying anything I feel like we need to have a conversation with that like we need to have somebody have a conversation with Devin but anyway I love how Johnny allows Miguel and Robbie to have this little party that they're throwing here as a celebration go figure Johnny I love seeing them be friends I really do like even in the beginning it was so cheesy when he's giving Miguel advice and then Robbie walks over he's like is this what fatherly advice looks like it was supposed to be cheesy it was it was funny it was cute and it just I don't know it makes me feel so happy to see the two of them together because I loved both of their characters so much and I think they actually can get along with everybody like Hawk and all them too so I love it but uh the problem is now this is the issue we have Sam breaking up with Miguel which is something that had to happen and I feel was a good decision however it's like I said when they broke up you can't keep going back and walking away and going back and walking away because that's not fair to you and that's not fair to the other person. You broke up with him. You said you needed time. She did say, I'm not sure if this is what I want. But this is what I need. I know this is what I need. And I loved that line because it's so true. Sometimes you have to do things that you don't want to do because you know it's the right thing for you to do. But that still doesn't mean you want to do them. I just think that she hasn't had enough time to process what's going on with her. You know, she she did take a decent amount of time. And I literally said it in this episode, I'm like, the time, them taking time is so good for them. 
And now she finds the necklace. Maybe her intentions weren't to get back together with him. Maybe her intentions were strictly to be like, hey, I found this necklace. This is awesome. Thank you. So they could have a cute little sweet moment. But you can't blame him. You can't blame him for making out with that girl. That's, I, I swear, I bet if, if if he in a heartbeat could have gotten back to get together with Sam, he would have. He didn't want to break up to begin with. Sometimes people just grieve relationships in different ways. People, people are different. They react to things in different ways. She doesn't have to go kiss somebody to forget about the relationship. Maybe he does. That's not to say that if he does, he doesn't love Sam any less. But with that said, being Sam, going through what she's going through, trying to figure things out, finding this necklace, having this sweet moment, and seeing that sucks. Like, I've had exes that I've seen hook up with people shortly after where I was fine with the breakup. And it, but it was still awkward. See, like I wasn't jealous. I wasn't mad. I wasn't upset. It was just an awkward feeling because it was like, I used to be that person and now I'm not that person. And I'm watching that person that I spent so much of my life with, with this person. It's weird. It's just a weird, awkward feeling. So for, for someone like Sam, who still has feelings that are involved, that's heartbreaking. That's really upsetting. I don't fault Miguel for it. I don't even really think she does either, but it's just that's that's a lot to handle and a lot to process and see, especially when you're on such a high peak of winning and everything. But the ultimate clincher, the main, main event, is Tori coming to Sam and telling her, you didn't lose the All Valley, which means that obviously she is going to come clean I cannot wait to see this next episode. I am so excited to see this next episode because she's finally going to tell them all about Silver's shenanigans. And now do we know he's doing it? Yes. Do they know that he's doing it? Yes. You know, Daniel's like, I have it figured out. Like he totally hired, um, keep it Raymond, Raymond and stink Ray to, uh, frame crease. But, you know, it is what it is. Like, we know that he's up to shady, but they don't know that he's paying off the judges. So if they get that piece of information, at least it's validation to, like, you know when you, like, you're looking at something and you're like, I know something's wrong. I just can't see it. I don't know what it is. I just can't see it, but I know something's wrong. And then you finally find it and you're like, oh, that felt so good. Okay, now I know what it is. That's the feeling that they're going to get by having her, you know, say these things. And uh, and I, I'm curious to see if she totally switches sides and goes with them or if she continues to play, uh, you know, an, an investigator. But I, I don't think she wants to do that. I don't think she wants to do that. So... Oh, I'm just, I love this. I can't believe Tori's about to say something. Oh, this is great. I am so excited. I cannot wait to watch episode nine. This is going to be good. Hey, everyone, throw a like, a bit like if you do, do not like what you see, but comment down below. Let me know why. Subscribe if you have not yet. We did fun things here. Ring the link the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Don't forget to check the link down in the description for my Patreon. Follow us on all social media. But that is it. So long, everyone. Try to make someone smile today. You never know when you might meet it next. Bye.